Okay guys, we all know that Spaceport America in New Mexico is going to be the first location where Virgin Galactic sends passengers into suborbit. But I'm going to make a prediction here today. So I'm going to think that Spaceport Cornwall is going to be the second location where Virgin Galactic passengers will go to space. And I'm going to show you in this video why I think this is likely. So check this out first of all. This is Cornwall Airport in Newquay. So this is in a small part of the UK. It's in the actual southwest of the UK. And why is this location important? Now Cornwall Airport Newquay is important because this is likely to be, or well, this is going to be the location for Spaceport Cornwall. So it's going to be the first spaceport in the UK. Now, why do I think that Spaceport Cornwall is going to be the second location where Virgin Galactic sends passengers into space? Let me take you through that. So first of all, let's have a look at the Spaceport Cornwall website. And this is some of their uh, future milestones that they're hoping to achieve. So checking out the second and third milestones, you can see that Spaceport Cornwall is UK's horizontal launch solution. Now, the reason why this is important is that Virgin Galactic is a horizontal launch solution, whereas companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX are vertical takeoff and landing solutions. So something like Spaceport Cornwall, which is a horizontal takeoff and landing solution, isn't going to accommodate companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX, whereas it can accommodate Virgin Galactic. Because if you remember, Virgin Galactic has a mothership, uh, in the current case is the VMS EVE, which carries a rocket, which is the VSS Unity in this case at the moment. And it basically carries the uh, rocket into altitude at around 50,000 feet, where the rocket gets released and the rocket gets ignited and it gets sent to suborbit, taking passengers into suborbits where they experience weightlessness for, let's say, eight to 10 minutes. Now, once that is experienced, the rocket will slowly glide back down and it will land in a, ver in a horizontal way as well. So this is why the first reason why I think Spaceport Cornwall will accommodate Virgin Galactic is because the the actual launch solution is horizontal uh, in Spaceport Cornwall as well as in Virgin Galactic. Now if we have a look at the third uh, uh, thing that they're planning to achieve is a first launch coming soon. So Spaceport Cornwall is launching to space in 2022. Now this coincides nicely with Virgin Galactic because if you remember Virgin Galactic have only two more test flights, so the third test flight and the fourth test flight before they become commercially viable. And we're hoping to achieve these two uh, final test flights by the end of 2021. So hopefully we are planning to start commercial operations in 2022. So hopefully early 2022 is when we will start sending passengers uh, into space via Virgin Galactic uh, rockets. So that coincides nicely with Spaceport Cornwall. So that's another thing which points me towards Spaceport Cornwall as a um, uh, vessel for Virgin Galactic rockets. But I'm actually going to move on to the most important point of all, which is why I think Virgin Galactic will have a contract with uh, Spaceport Cornwall, and that is Virgin Orbit. So as most of you know, Virgin Galactic have a sister company, and that sister company is called Virgin Orbit. And Virgin Orbit actually acts in a very similar way to Virgin Galactic. So what it does is it has a mothership. Uh, in Virgin Orbit's case, this mothership is called Cosmic Girl, and it also carries the rocket and in again in Virgin Orbit's case the rocket is called Launcher 1 and so what they do is the the mothership carries the rocket into altitude and then releases it at altitude and this rocket will send will go to uh, suborbit and it will actually release satellites so basically they uh, work in a very similar way but Virgin Galactic just help with space tourism and passengers whereas Virgin Orbit are sending satellites into space helping with internet connectivity and uh, that kind of thing. So very similar companies, but again, why is Virgin Orbit important in this case? So like I said, Virgin Orbit is a sister company to Virgin Galactic. Um, and check this out, this is Spaceport Cornwall. Uh, this is an article by them, which I will leave in the uh, description box below, but check this out. Virgin Orbit are very closely linked to Spaceport Cornwall. And if you remember the first launch is going to be in 2022 and 
This article demonstrates why the first launch is going to be Virgin Orbit. So check this out. Virgin Orbit's Cosmic Girl uh, will use Launcher 1 rocket to deliver satellites to space. And the first launch from Cornwall Airport Newquay in the southwest of England is proposed in 2021. So basically what they're saying is Virgin Orbit will be the first launch for Spaceport Cornwall. And obviously originally it was meant to be in 2021 at the time they wrote this article, but it's been delayed a bit and now it's been updated to early 2022. So why is this important? Well, this is important because if Spaceport Cornwall are so closely tied to Virgin Orbit and they're actually using Virgin Orbit as their first launch, that's huge news. And the fact that Virgin Orbit are very closely linked, in fact, they're just sister companies with Virgin Galactic, I don't think there's going to be much resistance when it comes to trying to um, agree a contract uh, for Virgin Galactic and Spaceport Cornwall. There's not going to be much resistance at all. And the fact that it uses a horizontal launch solution very similar to Virgin Orbit. There's not, again, there's not going to be much restrictions when it comes to uh, whether or not it's viable to actually launch passengers into space via uh, Spaceport Cornwall. So those are the main reasons why I think this is the case. And then just a final point, which again further consolidates my prediction. So again, this is the Spaceport Cornwall purpose or mission and check this out spaceport cornwall brings space closer to more people and businesses so what's really important here is they use the word people so in terms of virgin orbit clearly that is to do with business because that's internet connectivity they're not sending passengers into space but they actually mention people so they're bringing space closer to more people that's exactly what virgin galactic want to do by sending passengers into space so i think that virgin Galactic are likely to um, fulfill the people side of things when it comes to Spaceport Cornwall's mission of uh, bringing space closer to more people. So that's my prediction. I think that Virgin Galactic's second spaceport where they're going to be sending passengers into space is going to be via Spaceport Cornwall. And obviously we know that Richard Branson is a British person and he loves Britain. So Again, that further consolidates the reasons why potentially Spaceport Cornwall, as I said, is going to have a contract with Virgin Galactic, hopefully in the near future, to send passengers to space. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe to this channel for future updates and I will see you in the next one.